Heider or a Lunius Bien. Welcome to Reactions Unlimited. Unlimited. And today we have Wilson back in the house. Privet, Katila. Katila, what what is that? Is what language is that? It's Ruski. Rus. Russian. Russian! Oh, we have a lot of Russian friends. My English teacher in high, my English and drama teacher in high school was, was Russian. So oh, wow. She, she, I think it means, hi, how are you? Yeah. Yep. That's nice. Well, welcome back, Wilson. Today we're doing Dimash. That's why I mentioned Kaira or Lunis Bien. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but it's also the other way of saying welcome back. And that's a Kazakh. Uh, language. So I don't know this singer. Dimash. I think we've done one though, but you might have forgotten him because it's it's been a long time, like over a month, mm -hmm. when you came here before when we did Dimash. He is from Kazakhstan and he, he is a multi-talented singer. Mm -hmm. So pretty much he can do a lot of things in terms of uh, different music genre. And uh, in this video, it would be a little different because the one we did before, I don't know if you remember, he sang a really very high note song, mm -hmm. which is on another language. But this time, we're going to do a uh, 2019 helpful guide to Dimash, the man <laughs> with the widest vocal range. Oh, wow. Yes. I don't know if you've heard that I attended the concert with the other guys. Do you remember? In New York? Yes. Yes. You seen that? <laughs> I, you... I saw it on YouTube. You, you saw it on YouTube? Because I have subscribed. Oh wow. Subscribed. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well yeah, we did watch the match on the concert and it was spectacular. I, we did like three parts of our review and feedback after the concert. And if you guys haven't seen it, please go back to our channel page. We have created a uh, playlist for the MASH performances and the three parts of our re reviews and feedback are located there. So please check it out if you wanted to see our reaction to the, to the after the concert. And today, I, I can't remember that I've done something about a helpful guide, meaning knowing the MASH. Um, I've been reacting to a lot of his songs mm -hmm. and performances. But I have never done something where it's an introduction or a helpful guide to the match. So today is going to be a little different, but I hope that the video that was created will also showcase some of his abilities in singing and some of his performances. So we would be able to see those as well. But before that, uh, let's give our viewers five seconds to subscribe. In one language. Whatever you want. Do you, you know Korean? Yes. Can we do Korean? Okay. You want to do it with me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know Korean that much, but how about Russian? Because we have a lot of Russian friends. Oh, no, Russian. You don't know Russian? Italian? Five the numbers? Correct, but we did that one. Okay. Okay, let's do Korean since you're yes. more familiar with Korean. Okay, one, two, go! Tasot. Tasot. Net. Net. Set. Set. Two. Hana. Hana. Thank you so much. We appreciate for your um, subscribing to the channel. So thank you so much. And today we are going, as I said, helpful guide 2019 to Dimash, the man with the widest vocal range. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's All right, it. let's do this. But before that, I want to give a credit to the creator of this video, and this is coming from. Uh, Uber vocal? Uber vocal. Sorry if I mispronounced your YouTube channel, but it looks Uber. Like Uber. Uber vocal. Yes. Thank you so much for this video. All right, let's do this. Oh, wow. Singer. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm stupid. I'm shooketh. You're shook. I'm shooketh. Yeah, that was from Singer in China. That's a competition that wow. he joined in 2017, if I can remember. And I did react to this kind of song too. And if you watch the entire song, man, like you'll be blown away. But you're shook right now. But wow. who is he? Meaning, who is Dimash and where is he from? Hure. How did he grow up and what? Let's see what this video is going to tell us. What is his vocal range, okay? What can he do with it? Okay, let's find out. Yes, let's, let's do that. Please welcome Dimash Kudai Bergen. Kudai Bergen. Dimash. Dimash Kudai Bergen. Dimash. Okay. D. Oh, oh. He's tall. I want to be it. Look, he's tall. And his birthday is May 24, so we're gonna celebrate the March birthday uh, on May 24, right? Comes <sighs> graduation. It's your graduation? Yes, we'll do a celebration. And he is from Kazakhstan, of course. Kazakhstan. There you go. Okay. So it's between, as you can see on the map, right? It's up right above China and Ubez, Uzbekistan, but and then below Russia. I used to have classmates at my college from, from that country. From that country? Yeah. If you mesh, if Marami, if you see them, like say, huh, do you know the mesh? Yeah. <laughs> they probably know the mesh. Whoa. I want to go to Kazakhstan. I want to go. Let's go. I want to go. I go. Book me a ticket. Let's book a ticket. Let's let's go. Let's go, find, go find me. Yeah. Let, let's book a ticket and watch the match there, man. Like, look at It's so beautiful. The, the city is so clean. Look at that. And then the water a while ago, right? I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Me too. Whoa. I love that. Family. <laughs> oh, yes, brother and sister. He's the biggest one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that he has brothers and sisters. And then his mother, father. Papa, Who are the other two? They didn't mention. Like on the right side. Right? Mm -hmm. I wonder who are they. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay. So he's close to his grandparents based on that video because he was raised by his grandparents too, aside from his mom and dad. So he's come from a music, music, music family. Yeah, and look at that. The Mash Matter is an opera singer, and then his father is also a music producer. I, I know that he, the mother was an op, is an opera singer because I've seen that in one of the videos. She has a lot of it, for sure. Growing up. 
He's so sweet, he loves his sister. Training. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Early years at each time. He must be an angel. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this kind of things when you start really young, you're going to develop oh, yeah, really sure. good. Look at that, at age in March 5, he started training, man. Oh, wow! That's awesome. Hold on, let me repeat that uh, education quickly because let me pause on that one. It says, degree in classical music. He, he trained in classical singing under Marat Altimov, an honored artist from Kazakhstan. Kazakh National University of Arts, degree in pop arts, major in vocals. That's so awesome, man. Like, there's really something. The voice. It's really to see this one, it speaks native languages. So, Kazakh and, and Russian. But he's studying English. But he's already pretty good in English though. Because when we uh, attended the concert, he was speaking English to the to the people. Damn, that's eleven. I uh, twelve. You see that? I counted it. It's 12. 12 languages. He can sing 12 languages. Okay, here. Sinful passion. Oh, remember what? the D. I mean, I think we reacted together. The Unforgettable Day. The Gaku concert where he, he hit the highest note ever. You know, remember when we did react when we were like surprised? Is that even possible? When he was like, oh. I don't know if you remember that. We thought it was the instrument, but he was the one doing the the the, top, the note. So that was the eight unforgettable day. I remember that reacting to that. Look <laughs> at the where the match is. That's he's like a superhuman. Yeah, let's repeat that. I wanted to repeat that because I I paused. Sorry about that. I was just shocked, but I wanted to repeat that.
Bravo You know the fifth element? No. The movie? There's a scene that there's a, a singer seeing like similar to the mm. rhythm of this. The rhythm. Wow. Yeah. They, you know, what I really like about him, it, it's already high, but he can still float it in the air. Meaning like, when you sing high, you feel like you can only do one note, right? Really high one tune. But he's like fluctuating the tones. He's, well, going, he's going beyond upper limits. Yeah, he's going beyond upper limits, <laughs> my friend. Yeah. So, it's, it's insane. Unlimited. Vocal, yeah, the vocal is unlimited. Okay, so you can post those. Instrumentalist. I know that. I'm going to that country now. Mm. Traditional Kazakh robes. Before we continue, so in the concert in NYC, he played that. I think that's what that was the one he played with his brother. They said like, and there's a uh, like three other guys with his, his brother. brother, and then while he was playing it in the concert, he was being elevated. How many people was it like packed? It's full packed. Like I can't even see like a single seat. Not taken. now that I see him, like. I you're so lucky that you guys are go see him. Yeah. If you, if ever, I told, I told them, if ever Dimash is gonna come back to the U.S., I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy a ticket. And Take if you want, you. I'm gonna buy one for you. Take me with you. I wanna <laughs> go. You wanna go? Yeah. Let's do that. He sent the piano, of course, right? Look at this. Look at that. He's like doing drift. That's the first time I've seen him drum, do the drums, man. That's awesome. And this one is dancing. In the meeting. Go, Dimash! Go! 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 He's always a... Okay, so this is what I've learned when I was learning music when I was in elementary. They said that if you can sing, you can also dance. Hmm. Because it correlates... When you know how the tune works, you also know how to dance with it. I think that's what my teacher told me, my music teacher. If you know how to sing, technically, you should know how to dance too. When you try to that you'll be like in June mm -hmm. yeah but yeah look at that he's like dancing he's so young there He's like a, also like a fun <laughs> Ambassador of Tourism Sorry to cut the, the singing of Dimash but look at that Performed before the presidents of Russia China and Kazakhstan. 
so sweet of him like I wonder what is is there like a symbolization because I know like in some countries when you say like this I, I think you're like I think but in, the, in, their, in his cases he was doing like this I think it's just just showing a lot, a lot of humility and uh, just thanking yeah the, the audience mm. you know maybe it's a way of showing appreciation in Kazakhstan I want to show the picture. It's soprano, man. That's not something that I've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Tell Can me. you repeat that? Mind blown. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's how, is that how you feel? Yeah. But what can you say about, you know, like the way he was raised and everything? Like, It shows that to anyone that you gotta do the work yeah you gotta put in the work you gotta start early yes and you gotta be consistent and you're gonna have someone there helping you and in, in times that you kind of you just want to be get lazy or maybe you're just very tired mm -hmm. you're gonna have someone to push it and i think i think i think that his family yeah and the people like his like teachers were always there like supporting supporting him 
encouraging mm-hmm. him. That's that's what I think. That's how I see it because you got you got to have guidance. I think to right. get to that level because you can't get there alone, right? So mm-hmm. if you need talent, which which he, he has. Mm-hmm. You can see it. Like he has like the physical physical ability to like create emit such such sounds right mm-hmm. he has a talent he, ha- he has had the, the training and he has had the people around him to like support right and it shows and I want to go to a concert to the so concert take, the me, take me next time you go cause yeah. the first two seconds I was like whoa like <sighs> yeah what's the you Okay, so I wanted to summarize what I've seen so far because this is the first time that I've watched like a helpful guide did match and I'm so glad I did. Thank you so much who sent the link to the one who sent the link. Thank you so much for that. Well, first, as the, the reason why I ask you about the uh, Dimash being how was he raised? It's because yes, it's a very important factor when growing up because when you start really early, as you said, you're going to go really further and that's that's how his foundation is so strong right now because he started really at a very young age and the support system everywhere you go whatever you do in life if you have a support system of the people that surrounds you i think you're gonna get stronger and better each day i think that's what happened to dimash based upon this video yeah. like remember his grandmother has some pain on the legs but her grandmother didn't start stop bringing him to the lesson or to the training mm-hmm. i think that's very important you know the the parent the grandparents showed the love and support to him at a very young age and of course it's now up to dimash on that very young age on how he can showcase his ability to learn things faster efficiently and effectively i think he did that because at a young age right now look at the when he was singing on the I think there was a piano a while ago that was shown and he's, he's really young, like a teenager. He right. was singing and his voice is already like so high. Okay, so that's how I viewed the video in terms of raising up. You know, he is so focused and very, very into the music. He learned a lot of instruments, the Kazakh instrument that uh, we've watched before the piano the guitar there's so much that he can do and then the dancing now on the vocal part out of this world it is out of this world i told you i always tell this when i watch the concert when he was singing you almost feel like the entire stadium is outside of of the outside of earth like you're you're up you're, you're like in an outer space floating and there is like this voice that's like singing while you're floating in outer space that's how i felt mm-hmm. because of the way he sang and not only that he sang different type of music he is not only concentrated in opera right because a lot of people may not like opera opera right mm-hmm. you know there's a specific group of people in the world that likes opera but his music is not only opera he can rap he can sing ballad he can do uh, mellow songs fast songs dance songs so and even like michael jackson's song i think i've heard it in the concert so there's so many choices that you that you would love him not only because he is a good singer but because his he can sing everything like, I think if you can sing, you can sing anything. I think that's my concept in life. I think he's the type of person who can make classical music or opera or something cool for yeah. younger people. Make it, make it cool. You know? Yeah. So. And he's the mo- I think he's the modern, modern symbolization of a, of a really a singer we need in the world, to be honest. Like, right now, if... If uh, you know he's, he's if he's making like a world tour, I'm pretty sure, like people are gonna follow him till he grows older. And I'm I'm already a follower. Like I'm already like a follower when he's in his twenties right now. So that means if he grows up older, I'm growing older too. So that means I can say, hey, when I was younger and Dimash was younger, I was following him. Oh, he's. 
twenties. He is in oh, his twenties. Wow. Yeah, nineteen ninety four. Me, twenty four, nineteen ninety four. If I can remember, based on this letter. So he's like two years older. He's twenty five. Mm -hmm. Then twenty five. Yeah. So yeah, he's very young. There's so much more to go. That that's why I was so glad that he did the U.S. concert because there's so many people here in the U.S. that have seen him, and then also of course he's gonna see him soon in worldwide uh, once he do his world tour. I think it would be an honor for a country to like host such a singer. Yeah. Yeah. If I was a Kazakh, I would be like I would literally so all over. Proud. So, I would be so proud. Yeah, I, I'm already proud. I'm not even fast. Like, <laughs> right, right. I'm proud that I, I know I'm listening to his music. So, and I'm not even a Kazakh. But what more if I'm a Kazakh, right? That's of course. Yeah. But you know what I also see? I see like based on the videos that he's disciplined. He's I very feel, disciplined. Yeah, like, he's been disciplined in various ways, and combined with like the training, education, because he went to like school, right? You know, you right. gotta train if you wanna succeed. You gotta have the training, right? Yeah. So talent, training, yeah. consistency, starting early, and discipline. That's what I'm getting. That's the vibe yeah. that I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. And the deer, he loves the deer so much. He appreciates the deer, so that's a good, a good indication of a really professional superstar like Dimash. Because I did, I did experience him walking to the. Oh, you did. Like oh, I was wow. filming it, I was like, oh Dimash, where are you? <laughs> I was filming the camera, right? I was holding the camera and I can't, it's hard for me to focus because he was moving to the, I'm, I'm pretty sure the securities were like, Dimash, please <laughs> come back. Because, you know, if you go to the audience, you never know what's going to happen, but the deers are very kind to him, so nothing happened, nothing bad happened. He enjoyed going to the audience, like walking. And that's how he appreciates his fans. So that's that's a real superstar there. Well, that's pretty much it. I wanted to be able to thank whoever did this video. Hopefully, we can do like another one like this. If there is an available one, please send the link below. We'd really appreciate that. And before we end let's give them five seconds to subscribe again in, in, in english mm -hmm. so that every time we post a reaction video they will know it and every time we attend the concert of dimash they'll be able to see our reaction too all right five four three two one thank you so much guys for always tuning in and for supporting dimash we appreciate it and until next time, this is Reactions Unlimited. Unlimited. Have a good one.